Now let us discuss about the process of emulsification. Emulsification. Before we go through the process of emulsification, I would like to describe bile salts and bile acids. Bile salts and bile acids. There are two main type of bile salts which made up of sodium glycine and choline these are the conjugate salts conjugate acids sodium glycopolite and sodium toropolite These two are the bile salts and bile acids including colic acid colic acid deoxycholic acid deoxycholic acid and third one that is geno deoxycholic acid geno deoxycholic acid colic acid <coughs> these are the bile salts and bile acids which help in the process of emulsification of fat droplets and absorption help in absorption of fatty acids so let's go through the a simple point regarding about the bile acids Emulsification is a process of breakdown of fair droplets into smaller molecules. So before this I will draw something about bile acid. So what what happened with the bile acids in the liver and in the intestine do you know so cystic duct gallbladder and down the sphincter pancreatic duct another sphincter and open into duodenum this is what we draw that is duodenum. So this is the liver, right and left hepatic ducts, cystic duct, gallbladder. This is uh, what we call as spinster of Boyden. This is what we call as spinster of Odi. And this is what we call as pancreatic duct or simply uh, we may say as a duct of Virsak. So it, it's sphincter of Odi, Boyden, sorry, Boyden, and this is what we call a sphincter of sphincter of Odi. 
so what happened in liver for example here from cholesterol cholesterol from cholic acid cholic acid and xenodeoxycholic acid xenodeoxy cholic acid when this xenodeoxycholic acid and cholic acid reach to the duodenum certain bacteria perform their action for example this is cholic acid this is xenodeoxycholic acid and this is we considered <laughs> as cholic acid when they reach to the duodenum from this, from the gallbladder also through the semester of ori and through the semester of poison here bacteria perform their action <coughs> cholic acid cholic acid and xenodeoxycholic acid cholic acid will convert into deoxycholic acid deoxy cholic acid where they perform their action and lecithin also here the bacteria bacterial action so under the bacterial action the chino deoxycholic acid and cholic acid they will convert into deoxycholic acid and lecithin so this is about the bile acids let's go through the process of emulsification so simply i will define first i will write the definition of emulsification <coughs> according to definition emulsification <coughs> is a process of emulsification is a process emulsification is a process in which fed layer fed granules larger fed granules large fed droplets or even a seed granules granules convert or broken down into broken down into smaller droplets <coughs> so why this is necessary the reason is that it increases the surface area surface area increases surface area increases increases and when the surface in area increases it will very easy for the enzymatical actions so enzymatical actions or enzymatical process will be easy enzymatical actions will be effective effective so this is the reason that why emulsification is needed and this emulsification 
is carried out <coughs> by bile salts and bile acids carried out by bile salts by salts and by acids <coughs> so this is the process of emulsification so i will draw how the emulsification takes place so for example these are the larger granules of fat fatty droplets larger droplets they will convert into they will convert into smaller droplets so here they convert into smaller droplets little little droplets so this is what we called emulsification under the action of bile salts bile acids also bile acids and salts so once this conversion is takes place enzymes will start digesting these smaller droplets so here we call as enzymes enzymes will do their work so what type of enzymes and the pancreatic lipase they mainly are take on the fatty acids fat droplets and convert into smaller uh, and can and and start the process of digestion so whenever this conversion the conversion is takes place after the conversion of uh, larger droplets into the smaller droplets the enzymes will effectively perform their action and after their action they digest completely the fatty droplets and convert them into the fatty acids and glycerol after the conversion after the digestion process they will absorbed uh, by the molecules or the small microvilli of the intestine and this <coughs> process of absorption is also uh, helped by the bile acids and bile salts so we will discuss in our next lecture about the absorption of fatty acids with the help of bile